Well, hello and welcome on quarter-final day here at the greatest spectacle of them all. We're very much down to the business end of the competition. 32 teams began it. We're down to the last eight. No more easy games from this point on. Every team here is here on merit. Certainly reputation alone won't get you any further from here. Emirates, which has become such a fine landmark, a part of the North London scenery. Well, both managers were very eager to play down any suggestion that their side was favourite to make the semi-final. Managers, Peter, I've heard that once or twice in my time. Shut it, goal! It's in! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. Tries a shot! and they're already threatening to run riot. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Norway take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Real chance! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. Hudson Odoi. Now it's Murray. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Who's ball? Who's gonna get that? Drives it towards the front. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Skip. Foden. Foden drives it forward. Hoists it forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Murray. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. to throw it. Norway cannot keep hold of the ball. A chance! It's broken loose! And that'll be the last act of the first half. The first half thoughts? Norway just didn't want the half-time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Norway ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. And we're already back underway here. And it's Murray. Murray plays it out to the flank. Beautifully done. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. He gets past his man. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. And the shot! No messing about, just bludgeoned away.
Bertrand. That's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Has a go! More pressure on the opposition goal. Norway really are in the ascendancy here and they know they have to register while that's the case. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. Skip. Skip plays it forward. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. He's got options out wide. Foden. Hudson Otoy. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a loose ball. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Has he found his man? Well played, he saw that coming. And it's King. Well positioned to make that interception. Now it's Murray. Rapidly approaching the end. Now just moments away from a semi-final place. Decent looking ball. Goes for goal! And it's hoisted clear. Looking to get within range. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not in... And they've been caught out here. He's gone for it! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. That's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Norway through to the last four. Just two more steps now. They have got a crack at it. So what do you take away from So the tournament has reached its sharp end. Just two games left after this one, but they could not be any more different. There is the third place playoff, which nobody wants to be in. And of course, there is the final to which everybody aspires. The fates of these two sides at the end of the day could not be any more different. It truly is massive. This is the very high-tech Veltins Arena. Somehow fitting for this part of the world, the in the chance! It's in! And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. Norway are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Gets good distance on it. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's played forward. Fernandez. 
Portugal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. He's had a go! Oh, just why? Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Forward it goes. That's just very well. And a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Right through the middle. He's through. It's one on one. It's anyone's ball. in double quick time well you know thinking about that I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too that was all very well drilled things starting to look very comfortable oh, no question that's a foul it upfield and he's going long a slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there Norway seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle that was easily read and dealt with he's left his man it was all about the quality of the delivery and they come away with nothing Bruno Alves plays it forward. Now the counter. Gets wrestled off the ball. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal saving. Looks to clip it forward. Hits one! to run away with it what about that Jim Beglin well he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played Peter and it made the finish look that bit easier Norway take a three goal and the semi-final reaches halfway as easy as one two three it really has been that straightforward halfway through the match but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Norway are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. So we're already into the second period. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Hoists it forward. forward what does he try from here forward it goes Jean Moutinho and they win it back again keeper's got good distance on that they're actually not getting too tight which is interesting yeah. it's has a pop really well taken goal and as soon as they made that error in midfield they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net very much a lesson learned so just a consolation or is there a way back from here just brushed off the ball there and that's the end of that it all started well enough hoists it forward tries to get it forward quickly and he's straight offside. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. More than happy to take the muscular approach. He hits it. Oh, it's come off the upright. No foul, says the referee. 
and it's Bruno Alves. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man there. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. And it's played forward. Plays it out to the flank. And the weighted pass. Norway have it back and they can go again. That's put paid to a promising move. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. And here's the chance to counter. Hey there. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Looking to force his way through. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And the flag has stayed down. Look, there are some very good headers of the ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to, uh, to go. Powering header! This has been a try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. And he's shown him a clean pair of shot at goal! It's in! Late drama! Late goal! This will be one frantic ending! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Portugal give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Strong punch. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. That is it, the referee has seen it up. Norway are through to the final. See what it means to them as well. The will is there, the belief is there. Next up, the big day. Well, this is what everybody has been waiting for. The biggest spectacle in international football, perhaps all of football, indeed sport as a whole. Countless qualifying games played by nations that entered the global competition. All but two have headed home now, and it comes down to this. Making the finals in itself is a massive achievement. Norway have a free kick. Vida goes looking. Choluca.
Vlasic out to the left it goes and the weighted pass over to the left Deflection may or may not have made a difference. Little matter, it is his. Norway have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. And it's played forward. Oh, he wasn't being fooled. Forward it goes. Vlasic. And it's Mandzukic. Cuts it out. Goes for it. Oh, just wide. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in the final two, Peter. And it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bolt. Made towards the front men. Has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Good clearance and very necessary. Chills goes for goal! Butter. They have done it again! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. Norway grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Vlasic tries to stroke it through. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Vlasic. Mandzukic Vlasic hoists it forward this was done and we reached the halfway point of the final so Jim the halfway point of the final what are you thinking? well it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half time but I Sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Norway sitting pretty here at half time, 2 0 up. And we're already back on the way here. Omar Al Abdullawi just wouldn't be beaten there. Forward it goes, and the counter is on. Timely intervention. Vlasic. Modric. Done very well to intervene. Dashing forward at pace. Gets wrestled off the ball. He's come loose. That is terrific skill. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Gets his foot in there. That's a throw. Gets it into the middle. 
they didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box. And that speaks of little ambition. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Chorluka drives it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. What an adventurous run from a defender. And he's there to clear it. It's a throw. <laughs> now it's Rakitic. Towering header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. The defence did very well to be able to close him down in numbers like that. They basically suffocated his hopes. Vida battles to win it back. Made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Norway take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Right through the middle. That's gone a long way up and away. To throw in. Played into space out wide. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Ball is over the line. Gets the better of his man. Chance. Hits one. Hits it. Catching them now! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And that's what the game... Now, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And it's been taken straight back. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Going for goal! And he steered it beyond the post. Omar Al Abdullawi gets it back. And it's played forward. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And time is up. Norway are the champions of the world. Football's ultimate prize. This is Utopia. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory, another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.
left themselves with quite a bit of work to do here. They were not able to maximise their home advantage. They come into this needing to win. It is a tough, tough ask based on what we know about the home team today. The travelling fans are giving this as good as they get. It is a feisty atmosphere. You would expect that. He's had a go! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for.